and welcome to this week's catch up for where Stormy's uh, rehab is now. Um, I just thought after last week um, with the success of that video and how much everyone really really enjoyed hearing about where Stormy is now that each week I'm going to do like a little catch up of what we've been doing during the week and what we're planning for next week. Um, the first couple of weeks of rehab are usually pretty boring. Um, I will get onto that in another video where I'll explain like the importance of the walking and how you help the horse walk in the right way. Um, but for now, we're getting quite excited. So um, this week I introduced the saddle because next week, hopefully, I might be getting on. But that's due to, down to a few things. So firstly, what storm have you been up to last week? So I've been filling in my weekly uh, timesheet there, um, worksheet. Um, as you know, you can buy that on Etsy. I, yeah, it's great. We're, so we're week eight now from where she started working. And I've popped in that we started doing pole work. And so we started off just with scattered poles. And then um, the last session that we did, I put two poles together and I actually made it like an L shape so that she could walk round and through it or over it or diagonally across it and we just concentrated on getting her going really slowly because they can't rush the poles if they rush the poles they're not doing it properly um, again that will be a video where i show you how your horse needs to do the poles and then um, another thing that i'd done earlier in the week was i had I had about three poles in a line and I got her to walk over them. It's called leg yielding over a pole, but they're not actually leg yielding in the way that you do it ridden. They're stepping over it sideways. So um, I will also show you how you do that in another video. So there's lots and lots of videos, little videos that will be coming up. Um, so yeah, I'll pop the saddle on just to get her used to that. And um, we've been long reining everywhere. Like she, the weather's not been great, but it's been good for long reining and also she's been out in the field a couple of days i always am mindful if she's been in the field that on those days i work her a little bit less because she's probably been doing more outside so looking ahead to next week um i'm going to regionals for a few days so she's going to have a couple of days off for that and also one day she's got her physio so the physio is where we decide whether she's all ready to go so i'm going to probably work her what's my schedule i'll work her in the school tomorrow and then we'll go out on tuesday then i'll go off to regionals i'll be there overnight uh, so she have wednesday off thursday she is gonna um, have physio in the evening um, and then from there uh, we'll decide whether she can um, be ridden so saturday she's got the saddle fitter which is very important that she has the saddle fitter before i get on and then hopefully Sunday we'll be going out for a hack. I have been preparing her for being ridden by getting her to present the mountain block um, using the TRT method. Um, but as my trainer said, Stormy is well aware of what riding means. And actually, it, the more of a deal you make out of it, the worse it could be. And I think for her, I laid over her when I did the presenting to the mountain block the other day. And she literally was like, yeah, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's all good. And then I might end up clipping her completely because she's just starting to molt. So before she starts full molt, get the rest of her coat off. But I want to get on her before I full clip her. Anyway, see you next week. <laughs> 